सो वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन द वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन डिजाइन ऑफ प्रेशर वेसल पार्ट सेवन सो इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द न्यूमरिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन द थिक सिलेंडर डिजाइन ऑफ थिक सिलेंडर दैट इज वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट द थिकनेस ऑफ थिक सिलेंडर हैविंग वेरियस कंडीशन नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड आउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन थिक सिलेंडर प्रॉब्लम एंड थिन सिलेंडर प्रॉब्लम यू शुड रिमेंबर सम पॉइंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल एज वी हैव सीन इन द पार्ट थ्री ऑफ वीडियो लेक्चर इफ in the numerical it is mentioned that it is a cylindrical shell or spherical shell then it is a problem of thin cylinder because generally shells are very large and its internal diameter is very very large so di upon t is greater greater than 15 so we can consider it as a thin cylinder but if you consider consider the example of a hydraulic cylinder or if you consider the example of a steel pipe okay or if you, if you consider the small uh, storage tank of ga gases or liquefied gases these are the examples in which such pressure vessels are having internal diameter less so di upon t ratio is less than 15 so we can consider such applications as thick cylinder so as a summary of this if cylindrical shell or spherical shell is given in the problem then it is a problem of thin cylinder and if some other examples are given generally that you know practically use as a thick cylinder additionally for the thin cylinder problems uh, weld joint efficiency and corrosion allowance will be given but for the thick cylinder these two parameters will not be given weld joint efficiency and corrosion allowance will not be given for the thick cylinder numericals so you remember these points before solving this numericals so let us solve the first problem based on the thick cylinder so the piston rod of hydraulic cylinder exerts an operating force of 15 kN the friction due to piston assembly and stuffing box is 10% of this operating force the pressure inside the cylinder is 10 mega pascal cylinder is made up from gray cast tire gray cast tire which is a brittle material fg200 factor of safety is 5 and determine the internal diameter of cylinder and the thickness of cylinder so we have to determine these two parameters so first of all consider that given data so the example is hydraulic cylinder as i have discussed previous uh, at the start of this lecture so we can consider this hydraulic cylinder as a thick cylinder then the operating force is given now this operating force is exerted by the piston rod so we can consider this as f1 is equal to 15 kN equal to 15000 newton now there is another force that is friction force now this frictional force is present in in the system because of the piston assembly Now in, the, <clears throat> now in the assembly there are number of parts are in contact because of that contact friction is produced and additionally friction is produced due to this stuffing box this stuffing box is used in the hydraulic cylinder to avoid the leakage and as this stuffing box is in contact with the piston rod so the friction is produced and that frictional force is 10% of this operating force that is 10% of this 15 kN so we'll calculate the second frictional force f2 it is equal to 10% of this operating force that is 10% of f1 consider this as a f1 so 10% of 15000 so therefore frictional force f2 is equal to 1500 newton now the total force will be addition of this two f1 plus f2 so therefore total force exerted is equal to f1 plus f2 it is a f here consider this as a f1 that is operating force now this total force exerted is 15000 plus 1500 so it is 16500 newton so this is total force now second is pressure inside the cylinder is 10 mega pascal so inside pressure is equal to 10 mega pascal and one more point you remember that for the thick cylinder it is not required to uh, take the design pressure generally we take the design pressure as 1.05 into inside pressure or 1.05 into operating pressure but for this uh, thick cylinder problems it is not necessary to consider the design pressure so we are going to take this inside pressure for the calculation and this inside pressure is denoted by ea yeah. now next is material of the cylinder it is a gray cast iron so material is a gray cast iron this designation is given fg 220 generally this 220 indicates the value of ultimate tensile strength that is sut 
So SVT is equal to 2000, uh, 220 Newton per mm square. FS is 5. So as FS is given, SVT is 1. So immediately we will calculate the allowable tensile stress sigma t. So sigma t is equal to SVT upon FS equal to 44 Newton per mm square. So this is about uh, the allowable tensile stress. And the parameters that we have to calculate is internal diameter of the cylinder and thickness of cylinder. So we'll write this separately. Calculate first internal diameter of the cylinder and thickness of the cylinder that is D I and T. Now we'll start the solution. So in the solution, we have to first find out the internal diameter of the cylinder. Now how to find out this internal diameter? So if you uh, look at this given data, the total force is given 16,500 Newton. Inside pressure is given. So pressure and force is given. So using these two data, we can find out the internal diameter. So we know that pressure is equal to total force exerted upon area. Now here you can consider the area of piston or area of in, inside area of cylinder. So inside area of cylinder and area of pressure area of piston will be same that is pi by 4 d i square. So here we know the pressure, we know total force exerted and here area we can write as a pi by 4 d i square inside area of cylinder or area of piston. So this calculate this d i. So the d i is 45.83 mm. So in this way we have to calculate this inside a diameter of cylinder. Now next is thickness of cylinder T. Now here uh, it is very important to decide the equation to find out the thickness of cylinder. First check what is the material of the cylinder. So material of cylinder is grey cast iron which is a brittle material. And then look at the end conditions. Now this hydraulic cylinder it is having closed ends. We, if you take it uh, consider it as closed ends. Okay, then if the material is brittle, then we have to use Lenz equation. And for Lenz equation, whether the end is closed or open, there is only one equation. So as the material is brittle, so we will use Lenz equation. So we don't need to think about the end condition, whether, whether it is open or closed. So if material is brittle, there is one equation that is Lenz equation. So now the Lenz equation is this. Now in this equation, di we have just calculated in the first step, sigma t we have calculated in the given data it is 44 and pi it is given inside pressure it is 10 megapascal. So put all these values and calculate this thickness of cylinder it is 5.96 mm. It is very important again I will repeat this material is brittle so you have to use Lenz equation irrespective of the end conditions. So that's why we have used here Lenz equation as the material is brittle that is grey cast iron. Now let us solve the second problem. The inner diameter of the cylinder tank of liquefied gas is 250 mm. The gas pressure is limited to 15 megapascal. Tank is made up of plain carbon steel 10 C4. SUT is given 340 Newton per mm square and mu Poisson's ratio it is given 0.27 and factor of safety is 5 and we have to calculate the cylinder wall thickness. Now if we will write the given data first of all the example of uh, this pressure vessel is cylindrical tank of liquefied gas. So as I discussed earlier the cylindrical tank of liquefied gas will it is having diameter 250 mm which is very less as compared to shell. So we can consider this example of thick cylinder having di by t ratio less than 15 for the thick cylinder. So first of all write cylinder, cylinder tank. We can consider it as a thick cylinder. Then its inside diameter is so as it is a tank it's, it is having closed ends because the liquefied gas is stored in this tank so its ends are obviously closed ones. So it is example of closed ends. Then di is given 250 mm. Then the inside pressure is given 15 megapascal. Then material is given carbon steel, plain carbon steel having SUT value. So as I mentioned that 
even though here material is uh, steel and as steel is having two properties that is yield strength and ultimate strength but here instead of giving yield strength ultimate strength is given so you can use whichever is property given in the problem you have to use to find out the allowable stress so as here instead of syt sut is given so you have to use this sut to find out the allowable stress so first of all we will write this material plain carbon steel sut property 340 newton per mm square then poisons ratio mu 0.27 and factor of safety 5 so in next part we will calculate the allowable tensile stress sigma t it is given as sut upon fs put the value of sut 340 fs is 5 so the yield answer 68 newton per mm square is the value of allowable tensile stress If in this problem instead of SVT, SYT would have been given, then you are supposed to use the SYT property. But SYT is not given, SUT is given. So here we have used this SUT to find out allowable tensile stress. Now, last point is parameter that we have to calculate is cylinder wall thickness that is T. In the solution, write on first point cylinder wall thickness is equal to question mark. Now, in order to decide which equation we have to use. So let us look at the material. Material is a plain carbon steel which is a ductile material and ends are ends of cylindrical tank which is used to store the liquefied gas. Its ends are always closed ones. So this is the example of closed end. So material is ductile and ends are closed. So there is equation that is Clavirino's equation which we can use to find out the thickness. Therefore as the material of the cylinder is ductile that is plain carbon steel and it is a tank it means it has closed ends so therefore use clavirino's equation to find out thickness t so this is the clavirino's equation now here di is given it is 250 allowable tensile stress we have calculated it is 68 then poison's ratio it is given 0.27 pi it is a given 15 mega pascal by putting all these values we can get the by, by putting all the values, we can simplify this, we can solve this and we can get the answer 29.62. So this is the cylinder wall thickness T that is 29.62 mm. So this is the answer. Now let us solve the third problem. A seamless steel pipe of 100 mm internal diameter is subjected to internal pressure of 12 megapascal. It is made up of steel SYT 220 Newton per mm square and Poisson's ratio mu 0.27. The factor of safety is 2.5. Determine the thickness of the pipe. Now, first of all, write down the given data. So here the application is pipe. So we, have, we have to consider this pipe as a thick cylinder because its internal diameter is less. So di by t ratio will be less than 15. So we can consider it as a thick cylinder. Then pipe has open ends. Then di is given 100 mm. Then internal pressure is 12 mega pascal. Pi is 12 mega pascal. Then material is steel. HYT for steel is 220 newton per mm square. Then Poisson's ratio mu is 0 0.27. Then FS is 2.5. And we have to find out first using this SYT and FS, we will find out the allowable tensile stress sigma t. So here sigma t is SYT upon FS. In the last problem for steel, SUT was given. So we have used in last problem SUT upon FS. But here for steel, SYT is given. So we have used SYT upon FS. Put the value of SYT 230, put the value of FS 2.5 and get the answer of sigma t as 92 Newton per mm. And last point, calculate pipe thickness t. So first of all write down the solution first point pipe thickness now it is important to decide the equation to find out the thickness of this thick cylinder material is steel that is ductile material and ends are open so if the material is ductile and ends are open we have to use the Bairns equation so as the material of the pipe is ductile that is steel and it is a pipe it means it has open ends so therefore use Bain's equation find out the thickness t so this equation is given by 
t is equal to di upon 2 under root these terms now here di is given 100 mm sigma t we have calculated 92 mu it is given 0.27 poisons ratio and inside pressure pi is given 12 mega pascal by putting all these values and simplifying this we will get the answer of this pipe thickness as a 7.29 so this is the answer of this final numerical that is thickness of pipe so with this problem we have completed type 2 numericals in which we calculated the thickness of thick cylinders so thanks for watching this video if you have any query related to particularly related to this uh, video lecture you can mention in the comment section so thanks for watching